Let's look at the tools used in this video to install the fuse box. 12 gauge wire, wire stripper, cutter, and crimper, drill with Phillips head, eight millimeter wrench, nuts, bolts, screws for mounting, number 10 ring terminals for 12 gauge wire. Additional wrenches might be required depending on how you mount the fuse box. Let's get our safety precautions out of the way. Here we go. Doom, 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 doom. Before you walk on your car, do these safety things before you start. Turn on the car, parking brake down, flip your switch to dome mode, and disconnect your battery. Hey, this is Paul from Streetwise Carts, and before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this video is part of our free street legalization mini course available at streetwisecarts.com. Signing up for this course also gives you our downloadable parts buying worksheet. This free mini course is the installation portion of our full street legalization course that goes over all the state paperwork and compliance issues that you need to be aware of when converting your golf cart to a street legal LSV. You can find a link to the free mini course along with a 10% off coupon for a full street legalization course right down below this video. All right, let's jump back in. First, let's mount the box. If you have room, it's nice to mount it near a voltage reducer. Otherwise, find an easy access place for it. I'm mounting mine on my removable panel that we used in the voltage reducer video. Next, we'll need to crimp on ring terminals to our 12 gauge wire, one to each wire. Then we'll attach it to our main positive and negative terminal on our fuse box. At this point, I'm going to finger tighten it. Next, we'll trim our wires to length, then strip the ends and crimp them onto our voltage reducer lines. Please note that this is not live current as the harness is disconnected. If you have a gas cart, you'll crimp on 5 16 ring terminals onto the other end to attach to the battery. I've determined which direction the wires are going to go, so I'm going to tighten the positive and negative connections on the fuse box. I'm dropping in a 5 amp fuse. Now I'm going to attach the top panel and screw it all down. Lastly, I'm going to connect the harness and now my connections are all good to go. You can test your fuse box connections with the multimeter. Make sure you have a fuse inserted and that you're getting power from the key switch if you have it wired. 